Having settled in the lands of Shu, Liu Bei now is equal in strength to Cao Cao of Wei and Sun Quan of Wu. However, many people were forced to give their lives in battle to realize this day. My lord is distraught over the deaths of his two sworn brothers, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. In an effort to avenge Guan Yu's death by the hands of Wu, he advanced his army to Yi Ling. Despite my pleas that the true enemy of the land is Wei, not Wu, my lord refuses to listen. For the sake of Shu, we must win this battle. Zhao Yu, I know deep inside you that there is sense in your words, but I can think nothing now of Cao Cao. My brothers are dead, and I must take my revenge on the Sun family in Wu. The enemy must sense that we are coming, for Sun Quan's army has already begun to move. It is as though destiny is calling us to the battlefield at Yi Ling. Ready, my army! Rouse every last man! We'll wipe them right off the face of this earth! Whatever it takes, this battle must be won! Guan Yu must be avenged! Whatever happens to me, I will avenge Guan Yu. My lord, please, stand down! Turn back! We need you in this world! My lord! Allow my spear to make them pay for the death of Guan Yu! Soon Quan must pay for the death of Guan Yu. Break through our forces.
Hopefully we can catch the enemy off guard. So, my might was not enough. Another has fallen to my spear! Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight! They've withdrawn. Penetrate their camp at once. Near you run. Is this one of the enemy's tactics? The attack is ready! Fire! Now it begins! 
These fires shall light the road to victory in this battle. It worked. All we need now is to charge the enemy. Do you really think we stand a chance against me? These are worthy opponents. Show them the true extent of our strength. I have a plan. My lord, leave this maze and head for the main camp. The rest of you work to hold the front line. This must be one of the two Leon's traps. But for the sake of victory, I will have to defeat it. Battles are not won on strength alone.
ambush party. Surround the enemy. I had such a bright future. Another has fallen to my spear! Well done, Sugeria. But I have a trick up my sleeve as well. I challenge you! Don't forget about us! Here we come! I have no intention of losing a battle as personal as this one. Let us fight fair and square. Need to rethink your strategy? That's fine with me. grouped together. This is our chance. Slip past them and penetrate their main camp.
beaten the stone sentinel maze. We must hurry. So this is to be my final battle. Another has fallen to my spear! Now is the time! Attack! flashy display. Now, attack this! It's a great if you push the enemy on guard. Brother down. Another has fallen to my spear. It was a dangerous battle, but I was able to kill my hated enemy, Sun Quan. Surely Guan Yu and Zhang Fei must have lent me their strength from up in the heavens above. Now that the battle is over, I must apologize to everybody for going to battle without heeding your advice. I ask that you forgive me and continue to serve me and the land of Shu.
was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Zhao Yun from the land of Changshan, a sincere and loyal warrior. It is said he excelled in both the literary and martial arts. His ability with his spear was legendary. When the chaos swept across the land, he began searching for a lord worthy to serve. One day, he had a fateful meeting with Liu Bei, whom he would later join. In 208 AD, Liu Bei was attacked by Cao Cao at Jing. While busy leading his people south to safety, Liu Bei was forced to leave his son Liu Chan behind at Changban. It was at this moment that Zhao Yun risked his own life in order to rescue Liu Chan from the advancing enemy. Liu Bei praised Zhao Yun for his bravery, but was actually more relieved to see Zhao Yun alive than his son. In addition to winning Liu Bei's trust, Zhao Yun continued to show his prowess in battle. He soon became one of the five tiger generals, standing among the likes of Guan Yu and Jiang Fei. After Liu Bei's death following the Battle of Yiling, Liu Chan would come to succeed his father. Zhao Yun's loyalty still remained to Shu, and he continued to serve, supporting and aiding Liu Chan. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today.